Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And even if you are, my name is Esther Mofri. I want to do this video very quick because it's a free signal and I don't want, I want someone to know why we are selling. And GBPUSD has a sale opportunity, has been having a sale opportunity for the like longest time. But the best thing is that from the, uh, from where I stand, four hour has agreed to, has aligned so when you go to GBPUSD, I want you to open GBPUSD on the weekly time frame, and you'll be able to spot this double top. So once you spot this double top, you'll be able to spot this neckline, and then you'll be able to spot the half. So this is the half. This is the half, guys. So you'll be able to spot the half. So if you can see very clearly, GBPSD have kept saying it is a sell while because we had this bearish angle, but the, the lower time frame had not aligned. So the main, the main problem of not selling immediately is because when we went on the lower time frame, we had a new pattern on four hour. But um, let me just cut down and you see what happened. Yes, we had the bearish angle uh, last year the first week of, of December, but when we went on four hour, we had a pattern. So this is the pattern that caused that market not to, this double bottom is the one that caused that market not to sell. So at the end of the day, even if the weekly is saying sell, they have fast to deal with this pattern. So, and that's what you can see, uh, the market didn't uh, do according to how we thought, the market bought. Now, uh, after consolidating buying, consolidating buying, consolidating buying, we will go back to weekly. I think I have shown you the reason why the market has not, I think I've shown you the reason why the market has, didn't sell immediately. That's the reason why the market didn't sell immediately. And it is because, it is because the sellers found an obstacle on four Three weeks down the line, the market fell to break through that double top. So making it have a, a making it still valid. So that double that double top is still valid because it was the market didn't break. And I think there was a time I was analyzing GBPSD and I told you if buyers break out of that, we'll be having a cap and handle. And because it has not happened, we have a what? We have a double top and we are still waiting. So uh, when you go to daily time frame, when you go to daily time frame, you can see sellers have started to come down again. So it has become like a ranging. So at this area, this is where we got the bearish anger for weekly. And then the market, I don't know what you can call this. It's like a retracement, a ranging. Don't know what you can really call it, but that's what has what that's what exactly what the market has been doing. And then we can see that sellers now came and tried to, and started to break our fast. We can see sellers came with a big momentum and broke uh, that area. And when you go to four hour, we can see uh, markets, uh, there's, a, there's a, we call what, there's a trend line that was broken. I don't use trend line, but for the sake of this video, let me show you. The one that I, I, I saw, there is a trend line break. So the market should come all the way down. So there was a trend line break around here. Can you see? That was the trend line break. So trend line breaking, support breaking, weekly having a double top. Uh, market coming up to retest the trend line. Like there was so, so many things. And then what we have seen on four hour, the reason why even I've given that, um, that we can adjust that trend line. And the reason why I've said the market is a sell, it's because we have gotten our first support break. You can see here. So I believe buyers are now done. And this trade, I just want you to sell and target how many pips. Uh, you can sell, if you want, you can sell back to half of this 
weekly. It can sell up to the half of the weekly. You can sell up to the to the trend line. You can sell up to the trend line, or you can sell to the to the trend line, the first trend line. You can sell to the second trend line to the half, or you can sell 50 pips. Either way, GPLD is a sell. So all the best. I hope you have gotten an idea. The reason is the reason why I'm saying we had this channel in the market. You can see here they broke. Now, if you wait for the new trend line to break, you might not get an opportunity because it might break with a very big red candle. So that's what I'm saying. It's better you get into that cell. Today is Friday. And again, around for that is, and then six, we have news coming in. If you don't like trading with news, just avoid the market. If you're that person who you, you like avoiding news, you don't want to trade with the news, this is not the trade for you. But if you are that person who you can trade, you can trade with the, with the news, it's fine. You can still trade with the news. So that is that is it. I wanted to explain why GBP is this a sell. I believe from the weekly time frame, from everything, and then now for our agreeing, you can see how the sellers have they have broke. And you can see that support breaking here, support breaking. Buyers have attempted to go up and still we have that drop. So when I come back to this um update, I'll update you if the market will have hit the take profit. So the first take profit is this zone, short position. The first take profit, I, th I believe, is here, uh, 2605. The second take profit, it can be at 2505. And then the that take profit can be at the half 24, 24, 30. So you can have three take profit. It's where you want. So you can have, so the first take profit can be here. 26, 26.05, 25.05, and 24.30. So you can target like that. All the best, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope this is the trade. I hope you will try to analyze by yourself and then try to understand how the market will go. Keep an eye on it, and then I'll text you again on the next uh, signal. I have two, two trades. I'll text you. I will do a video on another signal. So watch out on that video. I will I will show you the next signal that you will be trading. All the best, I hope. And then again, if you don't like trading on Friday, don't place this trade. Okay, guys, thank you and love you. Bye-bye.